Hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Barcelona career mode once again. And guys, if you're enjoying this series, if you're having a good time over here, if you like seeing Ansu Fati at his best, if you like seeing Munir doing bits for the team, if you like see, seeing the wonder, what is it, left foot of dreams, drink how, make sure to support the video. Let's get this video to over 3,000 likes. I believe you guys can do it. You guys are the best. That's why you can do it. That's why you have it in you. Anyways, I'm back again now with another episode. Last episode, we did pretty well. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with our performances, but it was also eye-opening. We had a big loss against Inter in that month right there. In the Champions League, we had a big loss against Inter, which um, is an eye-opening uh, match, obviously. Not really ideal that we started off with a big L into the last episode, but it is showing us that we are still not there yet in terms of being able to compete with the best of the teams out there. In Inter with Lukaku and Lautaro Martinez, we're insane, and I'm looking forward to play against them in today's episode. That is going to be the next matchup, or the last matchup, probably, in today's episode that I will play, my, play myself, and I'm looking forward to it. And I am planning on, if possible, I'm planning on getting to the January transfer window. So we have two months to go through. Villarreal to start things off. Then we have Eibar and Valencia. Eibar and Valencia, not necessarily too good. Eibar 11th, Valencia has been struggling all the time. But now they're actually 7th. Hey, Valencia is doing bits now all of a sudden. Uh, Villarreal though, 5th. That's the game that we have to play today. In terms of fan objectives, international power, I still don't know. The players have not been called up yet. Failed one, the kids were still on 2 out of 10. Uh, not not still, we got a big dub last episode, so it has improved to 2 out of 10. Career revival, we're still on 1 out of 10, so we got to do some bits with Halilovic. Golden Boot is struggling at the moment. I mean, not struggling. I guess it's not struggling. Let me actually see. How are we looking in terms of Champions League goal scorers? Um, we go over here and we do have... Whoa. Munir there on 19. Anyone else from our team? Where's Ansu Fati? I thought Ansu Fati had a lot of goals. So he has three as well. So Munir and Ansu Fati on three. That is them four goals behind Mo Salah, who's ripping through teams at the moment. After four games, he has seven goals. That's incredible. I don't know how he managed to do that. And I don't understand how some of these teams have eight games played. Rangers, Olympique Lyon, and PSV. All on eight games. How, did that, how does that happen when the rest of, the, of them all is like on four? Is it because of qualifiers? It might be because of qualifiers. Maybe that's the reason why. But a pure growth. We are on 44 out of 100, which is nice. Already seen exceptional growth. I might have to upgrade that objective. But let's see where we are at halfway through the season. Um, here we go again is on 6 out of 15, so I'm very happy with that because it is a new objective. It is try to get 15 clean sheets with your goalkeepers. And so far in this season with our goalkeepers, as you can see, Scuffe and also Lafont have gotten clean sheets. Lafont with 5, Scuffe with 1. So I'm happy with that and it will be tough. It will be very hard for me to achieve this objective because you guys know clean sheets and me are not the best of friends. Uh, but I am willing to try it. I am willing to try it. And with that, the objectives are completed, basically. We have six now, and now we can grind for them. And I think these are kind of natural objectives to chase after. We don't have to force the ball into certain players, try to put Atalet, Striker, and all that good stuff, which uh, seemed to upset a couple of people out there. But hey, it's all good. We have natural objectives now. Only Halilovic really is one that we're going to try and get uh, to some goal contributions. But he has grown, so that is a good thing. And here we go. Villarreal coming up next right now. After Villarreal, we have a few weeks off. So the first team is fully capable of playing this. Let's jump in there. We're four points behind Atletico Madrid, who seem to run the show, not only here, but also in the Champions League. We got to make sure that we get past them this season. I want to win all the trophies. The funny thing is, in this game against Villarreal, we're actually up against Alenia, the player that was in our team at one point. Bazur looking at him thinking, eh, this guy thinks he can get past me. Well, let's see if he can. This is going to be an important matchup for us to do well in. I do need the three points in every single game that we play in La Liga because the other teams don't seem to be losing at all. So we got to do well here. Good steal by Zakaria. Last episode, he had a good run that led into an assist. And this episode, he might just do the same. Ansu Fati. Ansu Fati. Running through. Playing it. Banger. Ah, Pooch. Pooch, Pooch, Pooch. You need to do better in those types of situations. He's great at passing the ball, but scoring goals is not his thing. Talking about scoring goals. 
Munira Ladadi, use your right foot, pal. Why are you using your left there? There goes the run of Pedri. He's showing some intent. The same goes for Ansu. Ansu Fati, nice skill moves. Has the defender on his toes, constantly. Skilling. Ansu inside. Pooj, Pooj, do what you can do best. And that is passing play. Trincao, Trincao, Pedri. Let's go, Munir it is. Munir, not Pedri. 1-0 up after 40 minutes. Quite a grind to try and get in behind this team. But we have done so with once again the main man, the failed wonder kid of the former Barcelona side, returning into the team and playing exceptional. I love the fact that I got to try out Munir because normally he's someone that I would never get into my team, right? He's kind of high rated, but with no potential. He's kind of a talent, but still isn't because he's like 23, 24 years old. So I look at that and think, I'm so glad that I did this Barca career mode because I got to try out players that I probably wouldn't have ever used before. Like Bazur, I probably wouldn't have ever used. Oh, hold on. Pooch, can you finally get a goal? Can he finally get a goal? Nah, he cannot. So it remains the same way. Nothing new there. But uh, yeah, going back to that, love the fact that we get to try a couple of players that we would have normally never used. So Ansu Fati, finish it. Come on. That has to be a goal, Ansu. I actually can't wait for it to be January so that Xavi Simmons joins into the team. And I think I'm going to sign someone else as well today in today's episode. So I hope you guys are looking forward to another failed wonder kid to come into the team. I mean, Xavi Simmons is not a failed wonder kid. Let's say that real quick. But I really hope that I can find another really good addition to the squad. I think I'm looking at a player for the reserves team, possibly. I don't know if it's going to be a starter, but I think it's going to be a good addition into the squad nonetheless. And very importantly, a very fun player that was requested right at the beginning of this career mode, but didn't make his way into the team yet. So I think you guys are going to love it. Oh, come on. That should be mine. Oh, not like this. Yes. Great defense by Grimaldo. Perfect positioning as Alenia fails to score against his former team. Nice, Zakaria. Bring it forward. Munir al Adadi plays it across to the left, into the center, into Pedri, over to Puj, Puj, Pedri, finesse, never coming off. Can I say one thing? I never expected this game to be this intense, but Villarreal is putting up an incredible fight right now, and I've barely been able to break through the defense for the second time. So, interesting to see that they have been as successful in this matchup against us. Now Pedri finds the space, finally. Over to the right, and my phone is ringing. Hold on. Let's turn this off. Sorry about that. Pedri doesn't get the ball. Cool. Thanks, phone. Azur. Munir. Puj doesn't even have four star skills. Wow. I'm actually very sad about that. I should have done better there. Pedri. Munir. Puj. Can you finally score? Yes. He finally scores. This kid had like 50 chances in this game. Taking shots over shots and just never getting it into the back of the net. Finally has managed to do so. Puj is coming in and scoring. The next Xavi he is, right? That is what he's supposed to be. I wonder if he's ever going to be a more physical player or not. Because he is quite weak. When you look at Puj, you, you think, oh god, this guy's going to get bullied the midfield. But hey, even smaller players that aren't really the strongest can bully others. I've seen uh, Gilmore from Chelsea bully Fabinho around like he, he wasn't even an actual decent midfielder it was crazy so um even these younger kids with no strength in them just with a little bit a little bit of determination you can still pull it off oh hold on talking about pulling things off we could be scoring another one here no we're not the game is done 2-0 was enough to pick up the three points against Villarreal in the chase of Atletico Madrid this is crucial. We need to win every single game if we can because Atletico Madrid is not dropping any points as we speak. Alenia, the former Barcelona player there, unhappy with this team's performance. But Puj finally gets his goal after a good match in popping up in the right positions. He has had plenty of chances but managed to pull it off in the end. So pretty happy with the result. But um, I think Atletico Madrid has probably won their game as well. So it's going to be tough to catch up to them. So Atletico is now four points ahead of us. Have they lost a game by any chance? They only lost one game so far this season. They have just a lower amount of draws than we do. We do have the same amount of games lost. So we're not looking too bad in that sense. But I'm really looking forward to see our game against them. It will be a very tough one for sure. 
But next up, we have to focus on Eibar. Eibar is a team that I'm not too scared of, especially Olympiakos as well. Having beaten them with the reserves team, Olympiakos is not scaring me, but I think the way I'm going to run this is I'm going to play Eibar with the reserves team. Actually, they're 11th. I can't. I can't risk it right now. I can't risk it. So maybe we just play this game normally, right? Just simulate it normally. See how things go. Hopefully a clean sheet, possibly. But a win is a necessary one. There we go. Munir, Ansu Fati and Zakaria. The centre-back gets his goal. He has been exceptional, by the way. As a centre-back coming into the squad, love Zakaria. 87 rated at the moment and totally deserves uh, every single bit of praise that he gets uh, coming his way. And then we have an offer for Hiroki Abe, which I will accept. I'm happy to let him go. He's a 74 rated left winger that I just don't have any faith in. And I am looking to replace him anyway. So that's going to be something that we will see happen very soon. So it's perfect that we got an offer for him. And uh, Araujo wants more games, which I totally understand. He does want more games, but right now I can't give it to him. He is playing in this reserves team and he is improving the team a lot by coming into that squad. But Olympiakos with zero points. Can I risk simulating here? I can because Porto is third with four points. They're far behind us. I do expect us to win. Even with this team, I do expect us to win. We are playing at home as well, so they better get this done. You guys better work this out, man. Come on. Saad is down with his rating, though. That's a bit worrying. Um, do I take him out? No, nah, I'm going to play him. I'm going to trust. I'm going to trust in my team. Please. I trusted you. Yes. Let's go. And Bolo missed the penalty, but then he scored. And Araujo has scored another one. That should be good for his morale. So we're looking good there. Porto has gotten smacked around by Inter 4-0. So it will come down to the last game of the Champions League group stages to determine who actually gets that first position. And that is going to be a battle that we want to fight in today's episode. And I'm looking forward to it. Now, we do have Valencia coming up. That is not an easy game. Valencia is a tough matchup, and I think I'm going to watch this one play out rather than quick simming it, trying to take over whenever necessary to score the goals. Um, but I want to get to this Inter game. That's the game that I want to play today to finish off the Champions League group stages and potentially finish off this um, this month as well to get to the January transfer window. That would be a nice one. And in the Super Cup, we have, a, we have Atletico Madrid. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be a banger as well. But uh, Pedri and the boys want to play, which is again, I understand it. We're we're rotating a lot at the moment, so that's good. Uh, Hidoki Abe has gone 4.2 million added into the budget. So that is going to be nice on January. But this is the team that has to play against Valencia. Let's see them play. Valencia's 10th at the moment. I don't necessarily think we should be worried, but might as well watch the game out. Oh, let me take over right there. Right there, let me take over. Don't pass it, Pedri. Don't you dare pass it. Pedri, why would you pass that? Man, you completely messed up my idea there. Hold up. This could be a goal. This could be a goal. Hold on to the ball with Munir. Wait for the run of Fati and mess it up. Nicely done, Johnny. Oh, hold on. We might have it again. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. This game is not done. This attack is not done. Sorry. And Sufati, now it's done. Cool. I messed up. Nice. Oh, no. <gasps> we conceded. it. Carlos Soler. Okay, that, that ain't working. That ain't working, man. I got to take over. Sorry. We got to do this now. We got to get this game turned around instantly. I can't be losing against 11th Valencia. I need the three points. I need to catch up to Atletico, man. This is, this is a serious matter. I knew this game wouldn't be easy. I probably should have quick simmed. We probably would have won, honestly. Oh, Bazor, that's the steal of the century there. Trincao running through. Trincao, the angle is perfect. Whoa, that was a right-footed shot I wanted in that position, but he went with the left and just smacked it past the keeper. 1-1, one, one, that's more like it. You guys can take over again now. I like that shot from Trincao, man. That was quality. And uh, let's see if we can step in one more time to get a golasso. Come on, get that ball out of there. Get that ball out of there, man. Valencia is having chance after chance, and it is 2-1. I, I think I got to play this entire game. This is not what I wanted, man. Come on, guys. You're like 90 rated, some of you, you know? Really close to that rating. But just getting smacked by Valencia. This is ridiculous. Move, 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 move. 
Come on, Pudge. That's a great pass from Pudge. My God, what a pass that was, actually. Didn't Carl. Bang. Come on, man. How is he like... This is a joke. Oh, God. What a ball. We're going to concede again, aren't we? Lafont makes a huge save. 72nd minute. Changes need to come in. I don't like what we're doing right now. Ansu Fati goes striker. Clover comes in. Um, Halilovic now for Pudge. We're going to try it. And then Bazur comes off for Onyeka. Onyeka is going to do a little bit better in that midfield now with a little bit more pace to get that ball quicker. Come on. Come on. Come on now. Alen Halilovic. Can he turn this around for me? Alen Halilovic abusing that pace down the wing. He cuts inside. Drinka! Yes! Woo! What a goal. Let's go, man. Halilovic with an assist. Love that. Drinka with the left foot of dreams. Again, successful. 90 plus one. Last chance of the game, unless the referee blows the whistle anytime soon. He doesn't blow it yet. Valencia with one more chance to score another goal. I want to keep it at least at the draw. I'm not happy with it, but I will take it. The referee blows the whistle. There we go. So the game is done. I'm very unhappy, very unpleased with the result here. The team should have done much better in this one. Trincao did well. Alilovic did well as a substitute. But overall, a team as high rated as ours should not be struggling against Valencia right now. This is a disgrace. I mean, look at that team. That team should be capable of beating Valencia by themselves. And I just don't know why they couldn't. I really don't understand. Is it because of Bazur? I don't think it is. Munir is 86 rated now. So that's good. But um, we got to do better than that. Atletico Madrid have won their game, clearly. 37 points now, so that's a six-point gap to Atletico Madrid, which basically just means we will have to beat them every time we play them. That's basically what, it, what that means. And we are going to be up against Atletico Madrid in the league by... When is the time happen? When is it? When are we playing against Atletico? There we go. We're playing against them in April. Wait, did I play against them already this season? Did I give them their only loss? Is that what happened? I can't quite remember at the moment, so I might have to look back. Yes, we did give them their only loss. Love that. That's good. At least they know that we're there. This Leganes game is a must win, but it is the reserves team because I need my first team to be fit for the Inter game in a couple of days. So here it goes. Yes. What a win. What an incredible win, actually. Estrada comes off the bench and scores. And Bolo gets two. Nice, Embolo. He's slowly getting into the mix here. He's improving himself as a player within our squad, and I like to see that. Good stuff from Embolo. Now he's 82 rated with a plus 5 up to an 87 due to his form. So overall, we're looking good there. And Saar is still struggling somewhat with that centre-back position. I don't quite understand why he's having that many issues, but hopefully his form will be sorted out soon enough. But we have this game against... Inter coming up now. This is the big one for me. Another clean sheet, by the way, man. We've been getting plenty of clean sheets uh, lately, but this is it. This is the game that we have been waiting for. It's for the first place in the Champions League group stages. It is to avoid the likes of Real Madrid, Bayern, Atletico, Liverpool, Manchester United, Manchester City, and potentially Spurs or Roma. That is what we're trying to do. We want to play against the likes of Dortmund's Olympique Lyon, Paris Saint-Germain, Leipzig, Sociedad, Juventus. There are a couple in there that I definitely will feel comfortable playing against. Group H is one of them. Group F is one of them. Group E is one of them. I'm talking about the second placed ones here. And of course, Olympique Lyon would be a nice opponent as well. The rest, Dortmund and teams like Paris Saint-Germain, yeah, I would like to avoid them if possible. Thank you. I just realized that Jordan Henderson is the captain of Inter, by the way. He is in that squad alongside Barella and Verratti. Two very good Italian smaller midfielders there, just like Pedri and Puig. It's the battle of the midfield that is going to win this game. So I need Pedri, Puig and Bazur to step up their game. The game has begun and I feel, I'm feeling dangerous with these pink kits. So maybe, just maybe we can get revenge against Inter. The first time we played them, we lost 3-2, if you guys remember. Lautaro Martinez and Lukaku were unstoppable and Lukaku was the best number 10 in the world for some reason. And he's back at it again, trying to play passes rather than scoring himself. Interesting from Lukaku there. What a ball that was. Yikes. Uh oh. Dangerous. Dangerous. Oh, man. It's Lukaku already. Oh, I would like to cuss right now, but I can't because YouTube will take away my money. Ah, oh, this. Yeah, that's that's a great goal, Lukaku. Well done. <laughs> well done. Man, this Inter team is really good. Really, really good. 
I, I honestly think this might be one of the best teams I've played against, especially tactically. I can barely touch the ball. Like, they have such good passing play in them and such good runs for most of their players that you just don't get the chance to touch the ball. And when you do, you're basically just trying to put in tackles. What the hell did he just do against me? Bro, that is one of the most insane skill moves and skill runs I have ever conceded. I cannot believe what just happened. Lautaro Martinez didn't only take apart Zakaria, he also took apart Todibo with the same attitude. So he gets past Zakaria here. Bang! One man gone. Goes towards the second. Todibo tries to slide tackle and he just does the perfect skill move. Like it couldn't have been a better skill move in that position because he drags the ball back a little bit. Otherwise, Todibo gets that. That, I, I gotta respect that goal. I can't be mad about that one. I gotta respect that one for sure. All right, boys, come on. We gotta turn this around. We gotta turn this around. We got some space here. This is it. This is it. This is what I wanna see. This is what I wanna see. Lob it up. Bang it. Yes. All right. 30 minutes into the game. 2-1, we're back into it. Lovely stuff. Good, good stuff from the team, man. I like that a lot. That is one goal back. And we still have plenty of time to come back fully into this matchup. And we just got to use the wings. I feel like since they're playing three at the back here, we should abuse the wings a little bit more. Right? Once we get past the likes of Hakimi and Coman, Hakimi does defend, but Coman definitely doesn't. So maybe we need to go over to the Incao's side a little bit more. No way, man. Talking about getting back into the game. This Inter team is genuinely incredible. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I hope, I hope we get through into the next group, uh, next uh, knockout stages here. Obviously, we will, but once we get back, get in there, I hope someone else beats this team because it seems like this is the squad that I just can't beat. That's how it feels like at the moment. Rinkao has Munir. Munir has the space and the finesse. Come on. Nice one, Munir, man. Back into it again. Beautiful finesse from the outside of the box. Barely ever score these long shots, man. I mean, you can't really consider it a long shot. It's not too far away, but it's quality technique there from Munir, man. That's the type of stuff I like to see. Here goes Munir. Ansu Fati, that's the run. I want this equalizer before half time. Let's show them that we have improved. Let's show them that we have gotten better. The ref should have blown the whistle, but I don't care. It is 3-3. Three, three. We're back into it. We run over to the coach and say, Hey, pal, you're the best in the world because I am. I am. <laughs> oh, let's go. 3-3. Three, three. Here we go. Go on then. Munir. Trinkal. Oh, that's a run. That's a run and a half from Trinkal. Lob it up. Yes! The comeback is completed. You might say Lautaro Martinez is the player to watch. No, it's Munir right now. With a finesse shot from outside the box. The assist for Ansu Fati. Plays it and makes his run. Trincao with the pass inside. Get in, boys. What a match this is against Inter, man. I am loving it. This is such a nice comeback. From 3-1 to 4-3. Let's go, Inter. Let's fight. Ooh, Lautaro again. Deadly passing. Todibo. Nicely done. We're going to look for Trincao down the wing. He's the only option we have. And then we lose it to Sule. Oh, this is tough. Oh, wow. Verratti. Great moves. <gasps> I'm just not, not a smart person. I'm just not a smart person, man. Who does that? Lautaro Martinez now with his, what, fourth goal in this game? I don't even know, man. Oh, this sucks. How did I mess that up? How did I just mess that up, bro? What am I doing? I'm literally passing the ball into him. <sighs> if I didn't know, I would say Todibo has been paid to make that mistake, man. Seven goals in this in the Champions League season for Lautaro Martinez. How many did he score in this game? Lautaro scored three goals in this, same as Munir. It's a battle between two strikers. Munir against Lautaro Martinez right now. Oh, God. Not again. Oh. Luckily, he's not the best at passing the ball, thankfully. 
Talking about passing the ball. I can't even get the ball off of my feet. As now Inter all of a sudden turn into beast. Lukaku, Martinez and Lafont makes a huge save. I don't know how that just happened, but we just got overrun immediately. Uh, it's time for a more, uh, more pacey CDM right now to come into the game. Halilovic comes in for Puj again. And you know what? This time I'm going to bring on Mbolo. Do I? Yeah, Mbolo comes in. Prove yourself, man. You've you've scored some goals. This could be your biggest one. Pedri finds Mbolo actually here. Mbolo with that strength. I expect this dude to do well. Trincao running down the wing. Trincao, not many options presenting itself here to him. Atal, Bazur, I see Pedri inside. Pedri finds the ball. Mbolo, please. I can't get the shot off. It's a corner though. And we have Todibo finally at the near post. This could be a goal. Todibo. Todibo. He jumps. He doesn't get it. Pedri. One more. Back. Atal. I'm going to take my time with this attack. I want to make sure that I can score off of this. Mbolo. In the right spot. Carries the ball. <sighs> if he can get that shot off of his feet, we score, I think. He has such good shot power. And I thought he could pull that off, but sadly he wasn't able to do so. Now Inter might get the last chance of the game. Inter in the 90th minute now in a second. Oh, hold on. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's us with the attack. I want this Champions League first place. And I want it badly. Trincao gets the ball. Mbolo pushing inside. Mbolo going for it. It's a corner. We do get the corner. Everyone, run near post. Now. Run near post. Now. Make it. Make the run. Todibo. Todibo. No way. No way that he just saved that. It hits the crossbar, lands at the feet of Zakaria. And instead of taking the straight shot, Zakaria just decides to let that bounce off of him into the arms of the goalkeeper. Man, Inter is some team. Bro, honestly, I struggle so much against this formation that they're running. What is this? 3-4-3. Three, three. That was hard to play against. Really, really hard to play against. Very odd formation. I could not cope with it. And in midfield, I am always outnumbered somehow. And I did not like it at all. So we got to do better. We got to do better than that. Inter goes through as the first place team. And we're going to be up against some of the best teams in Europe in the next round. And I'm not looking forward to it. Now that we've seen how we've done against Inter, I don't expect us to do much better against them. So we have found our nemesis, it seems. So that's uh, something to keep in mind. And uh, Sar is happy about getting more play time. Now he has grown to a 78. So that's good to see. He's not as unhappy and low on form as he has been lately. So that's uh, also a big positive. But we do need to get into this new transfer window. And talking about the transfer window, I want to make the one signing that I've been waiting for. I want to get myself... The main man himself, the five-star skiller, Muzonda, to finish off today's episode. Eight million for him, and he's currently on loan. Oh, man, that completely messed up everything now. I really wanted Muzonda. <laughs> this has completely messed up my plan. Do I go for Kubo? He used to be a Barcelona player, but he's too high rated for the reserves team, no? I think he's a little bit too high rated. Can can Clovert play on the right, on the left-hand side? Let me see. Clover can play left wing. Actually, he prefers to play left wing. Kubo on the right? Let's make it happen. Let's see if we can make it happen, first of all. Actually, hold up, 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 hold up. I have found the perfect replacement for Mozonda. Emre Mor. Here we go, guys. Let's get this man into the team. Talking about failed wonder kids, this guy is up there with the best of them. They won 30 mil plus Mingesta. That is never going to happen. So we're going to remove him and offer them a nice... 17.5 mil, 17.6 17 mil for Emre Mor. Can we make the deal happen? 20 million is what they want, desperately. Interesting to see. You know what? I'm going to accept it, man. Emre Mor is going to join us. I'm telling you, I am bringing in all the failed wonder kids into this team right now. Xavi Simmons has joined last episode. Again, not a failed wonder kid, just a former Barca player. This episode, we are going for Emre Mor. And I think him down that right-hand side and Clover down the left is going to be a nice combination. But this gives me something... Some vibes that I might have done this before. Can someone tell me in the comments down below? Have I not had Emre Mor and Justin Kluivert in my Leeds career mode back in the day? I feel like I did. I really feel like I did. So inform me about that in the comments, please, if you can. That'd be very much appreciated. But for his wages, I'll just give him, a, give him a casual 35k. I don't know how much he's earning at Celta Vigo. So let's see what he says to that. 
35k mnmr real face now in the team and that is the end of the episode guys you can see his stats to finish it off here coming into that reserves team larauri is talented but he's not doing too well in terms of scoring goals and stuff and now mnmr has come in into the squad if i can find him anywhere here where the hell is he oh he's gonna join us later on sorry so that is the end of the episode we'll be back again with the january transfer window in the next one and the Super Cup final against Atletico Madrid. Looking forward to it. Have a good time. See you next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.